Hey there, welcome back to Shimigami Tensei. Um, the last time we have fused some demons and I have actually, we have actually got a, a new badass demon thing. Let's take a look at that. It is this one. Looks kind of um, weird, but it's a neutral demon with a lot of strength. So hopefully we are going to do a bit of damage with that guy. And we're going to need that because um, we want to actually find the leader of the resistance movement who has been abducted by... What was her name? Uh, Yuriko, yes, that was Yuriko. So yeah, Bodyconians, let's just kill them. I think I won't need to use the fire spell here because um, it's just free, I think that's going to work out. And we can actually test out our new demon here. So let's see. Attack. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes, that thing actually does a lot of damage. I'm definitely intrigued by that. Okay. Let's just do this in auto battle. And fantastic. We got a f bunch of experience. Not, uh, not really a bunch, but a bunch of money. And uh, I definitely like that. And we found a poison bottle. Okay. I guess with a poison bottle we can poison enemies. That would make sense, wouldn't it? So let's just kill that thing in auto battle because, um, yeah. And kill both things in auto battle too. Don't think we have the Andras anymore. I think I fused it last time, didn't I? Let's take another look here. Azumi, Jack Frost Imp. Yeah, Pyrojack. So, we don't have an Andras anymore, we can't talk to them anymore. Well, we can, but uh, that wouldn't make much sense. And also, these guys also don't have any... Uh... Yeah, we also don't have a Cobalt anymore, so we have to fight them. I don't want to talk to them again. We could get them back, but, uh, well, no, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's... Uh... Also, I'm not playing this game with any fusion ch charts and stuff like that, so I'm just going to try out stuff and uh, see if it works. So what do I want to do? Yes, I want to go back to the bar where we got the matchbook and where we met Yuriko, because if I remember correctly, the dude in the resistance hideout said that they are going to meet up in the bar when they found uh, where she is. So maybe they have found out already and we can take a look at that. That's auto battle. Auto battling zombies, okay. Auto battling Andras. Whole bunch of auto battle. Doesn't give us much, so um, I think we have actually kind of out leveled uh, the monsters that are that are in here, so, uh, oops, 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 a step too far. Okay, let's go in here. Let's talk to the pirate, no, the Jack Frost, and we did get nothing at all. Let's kill the goblin. Kablam, okay. Cash, a lifestone, so what kind of lifestone was that? If you remember, there was some kind of weirdness with the stacks going on. I think it went into this stack here. So, okay. Um. The encounter rate is really some something right now. I don't like that too much, but... Um, oh well. That's just what you get with those old games here. Okay, man from the distant resistance. God, this is awful. Our leader is going to be executed. They're going to publicly execute her in the plaza right in front of the Tokyo government office. Please do something, anything. We have to save her. Okay, so Yuriko 
seems to be in cahoots with the government, which is basically the Goto guy, apparently. So, yeah, I knew something was not quite right with her. Ah, oh, you guys. Oh, I didn't actually want to do that, but... Uh... Oh, now I have an Andras again, apparently. Hm. Well, why not? Okay, so we need to go to this Tokyo government building. And uh, for this, we need to leave the mall. Um, let's identify ourselves. What do you want? I want Magnetite. Yes, thank you, goodbye. Oshichi, we need to fight it in with conventional means. That means no guns. But we have the Nue, and that is pretty awesome. A bit of cash, a bit of magnetite. Let's see, how much do we actually use per step? Oh yeah, okay, with the Nue in our party, we use two magnetite per step. That's a bit more than before, but uh, yeah, we can we can sustain that. At least if we... Yeah, it's asking our name, identify ourselves. Yes, at least if we still have a steady supply of magnetite going. Like this. 200. Fantastic. And also when we are w walking around the overworld map, I think we don't actually consume magnetite. So... That's pretty good also. Let's auto battle. Oh yeah, it was kind of resistant against uh, against sword attacks, but that wasn't much of a problem now, just now. So let's put that point into vitality again. Yes. Awesome. XP, some cash, and some magnetite. Not much, but it will carry us three steps. Okay, let's exit. There's an exit here. Will you leave? So we haven't been here in a while. So I don't actually... I think the government office was one of these buildings over here. Either it was the thing down there or the thing up there. And uh, yeah. I think, um, like in an earlier video where we uh, were walking around the overworld, we actually went in there and um, there was a soldier or something stopping us. So I think now we can actually get through there. So uh, yeah, we're going to do that. And some cash and some magnetite, always take that. And let's go in. Either it's this one or the one, yeah, on top of that. So we're going to see how this goes. Uh, let's kill the imp. And let's kill the imps. Apparently. Oh god, he sets up people to sleep. But at least we have the Nui still going, so we do all the damage we need to do. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is kind of funky today, I don't know why. <coughs> Soldier, it's about time for the public execution to begin. Okay, so we are at the right place. In the right place. Prepositions, prepositions. Okay. Well, that's kind of a big thing here. In the plaza, there's a huge mob of Goto soldiers, demons and spectators gathered. It's Yuka. Hurry, let's rescue her. There's not much time. Hold it, Yuji. Calm down. Don't be foolish. If we run out into that plaza now, we'll be shot down before we get within 200 feet of Yuka. Okay, now Yuriko is talking, apparently. The resistance group, in its arrogance, has been continually opposing the plans of our great leader, Goto. So, yeah, they are kind of, um, yeah, as I said, they are kind of in cahoots. And after a long and arduous search, we have finally captured the leader, Yuka. Goto is a kind man and has forgiven this woman for the many acts of sabotage and terrorism that she has organized against our great country. However, that does not erase her crime of opposing him in the first place. Therefore, I sentence this woman to death. 
so what's the point in forgiving her the other stuff? It's just weird. That's just weird. Wait, I see we have some uninvited guests hiding over there. Come on out, little weasels. I've arranged special front row seats to this event just for you. Time to say goodbye to Yuka, Kazuya. Didn't she pledge to be our eternal partner or something? Well, she's doing a bang-up job on, at that. So, uh, maybe she should get this flirting thing down a bit better. Poor Kazuya, don't you see? If only you had cho chosen me instead, this wouldn't have had, happen had to happen to her. Did we choose her? Because I think we met her for the first time last time. Man, she's, she's jealous. She's a jealous person. Alright then, do it! Kill them! Okay, fantastic. Um, no, not fantastic. Oh, it's an undead zombie cop. Oh, Jesus. And it's not an undead zombie cop, it's a whole bunch. It's eight undead zombie cops. Fuck me. Okay, so let's use the gun. Let's use your gun, and you're going to cast magic. Mazan, you're going to cast magic. Maragi, you're going to cast magic. Mabufu, and you... We're going to use your extra attack. I don't know what that is, so we're going to see. Okay, 18 damage, 18 damage, 18 damage. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the good thing about about um, those magic attacks is that they usually hit everyone in the enemy party. And the guns don't do that. I think our gun has a has the potential to hit a maximum of six six enemies, I think, but it can also hit less than that, so, uh, yeah. And Mabufu, let's freeze all, all of them solid, yes, fantastic. If it's not all of them, then hopefully most of them, so we don't take much damage. And a Maragi right after that, oh yeah. Okay, they, those zombie cops are weak against fire. There are lots of enemies that are weak against fire, actually, so uh, our Pyrojack is quite an asset in battle right now. Well, fantastic. That was, that was awesome. Defeated eight demons. Do we get experience points? Yes, we get experience points, but only ten per, per zombie cop. That's not much. But Yuji leveled up nonetheless. That's fantastic. Um, I'm going to pump that into vitality again, because we really want to get that up a bit. Yuji learned a new spell. Fantastic, but we don't know what that is. It's always kind of weird. The game does not really like telling you things. And we got a bunch of cash. That's awesome. And the zombie soldiers. So I think we're just going to do all this stuff again. I don't know what they are actually weak against, but I think we have enough um, enough stuff that we can enough MP that we can just spam our spells here. And also, the new spell that he learned is not a combat spell apparently, so uh, we have to take a look at that when we can walk around again. Pyrojack, you're of course going to cast Malagi. You're going to cast Mabufu, that's also pretty useful because you can freeze them all. And you're going to do extra again because we didn't get a chance to see that last time. Okay, Marzen is still not the most useful thing here, but it at least does damage. And Mabufu. Four damage, okay, that's not much, but this freezing stuff is really something. So, uh. Yeah, it's immensely useful. And every one of them has frozen solid. That's brilliant, so we can't get attacked right now. Okay, they are also weak against fire. So having a pyrojack for this fight is actually invaluable. That's great. Things are working out nicely. Oh, and we got a bunch more XP for that. Okay, fantastic. Um, let's put that into, into Vitality again. I want to get my guys up to... 
Good stuff, okay. Yuji and a lot of cash again. And some magnetite, okay. Okay, zombie soldiers and lemurs, okay. I think this is actually the first time that we have two groups of enemies on one screen. I actually... Yeah, this is the first time this has happened. So this can actually happen. I didn't know that. <coughs> well, I didn't remember that. Okay. Kazuya's move. Okay, let's see. You're going to use a gun. Sorry about that. That was my girlfriend just came in. Um... Okay, so we have to choose whether we attack the zombie soldiers or the demurs. Okay, let's see. Um, Kazuya's move. Okay, you are going to... No. You are going to attack those guys, the Lemur guys, because we're going to cast a... We're also going to cast a Mazen on the Lemur guys, because we are going to cast our fire spell on the soldiers, because this will probably kill them instantly. And you're going to cast Mabufu on the soldiers or on the, on the soldiers. And you're going to do extra damage on the Lemurs. Okay, let's do that. See how this works. Okay, so Mazan is not... Oh god. The most effective thing against them. First solid, first solid. Okay, that we don't get attacked by those soldiers. Well, we wouldn't have, so maybe we should have a... Uh, oh, they actually survived that. <laughs> good, good, good. And those things do not take much damage from guns, okay. Oh, the claw attack from the Noe actually hits multiple enemies. That's fantastic, okay. Okay, so you're going to use your gun... No, you're going to use your sword on those guys. You're also going to use your sword on those guys. You are going to cast Mazen on the zombie soldiers. You're going to cast Maragi on the Lemurs. I think we will be alright if we cast... Yeah, with the Mazen, so I think this will actually kill them, so no need to sweat about that. I'm going to cast Mabufu on the Lemurs, and I'm just going to go all out on this. Yes, this kills them. Fantastic! Okay, kabam! Some XP and some cash, and some magnetite. Oh, even more enemies. Oh god, this is a long fight. This is a long fight. Not exactly a boss fight, but it's just a lot of enemies. Okay, then let's do this again. Sword with four lemurs and two ghouls. Um, okay, let's do that. Takeshi, I'm going to use a sword against them too. Yuji, you're going to cast a Mazen on the ghouls. Pyrojack is going to cast Maragi on the Lemurs. You're going to cast Mabufu on the Ghouls, because why the fuck not? And you're going to use your extra attack on the Ghouls. Let's see how this works out. Okay. Cast Mabufu, so we want that. Oh, nothing happened. So they are apparently immune against that stuff. Against ice. not working out how I like it to work out. How I would like it to work out, but I think we're going to be fine here. Okay, let's see. Do I need to heal anyone? I think I need to heal my jacks, so uh, we're going to do that at some point. Um, Kazuya, you're going to use a gun against the ghouls. You're going to use a sword against the Lemurs. You're going to cast magic. Dia on on our Jack first. He has the lowest health right now. Pyrojack, you're going to cast 
Maragi on the ghouls this time. You're going to cast Mabufu on the Lemurs this time. And you're just going to use your extra attack against the ghouls. So let's see how this works. Okay. They can actually do a lot of damage. You have to be careful about that. Oh, I guess she took damage. Jack Frost cast Mabufu. No effect at all. Okay, so our Jack Frost is actually kind of useless here. Oh, defeated one demon. What actually happened? Are the ghouls still alive? They have lost any kind of... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, apparently we only have Lemurs left, but we can still see the ghoul. That's weird. Attack, you are going to cast some magic again. And this time you're going to heal the Pirate Jack. Pirate Jack is going to attack. Jack Frost is going to attack, Nui is going to use his extra attack, and let's see this. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Biting attack. Yes. Biting attack can apparently also paralyze. That is fantastic. And Jack Frost attacks, and this is it. So let's see if we can if we actually get another group of enemies. I hope not. Some cash, some magnetite. No, oh, this is it. We actually did it. And uh, just in time. It would seem that I've lost this time. Okay, that's some kind of... So they were apparently getting ready to burn her, burn her on the... I don't know what this... Uh, on the stake? I, 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 no. The word is escaping me right now, what this thing is called here, but, uh, well. You rescued me, just like you did before in our dream. Thank you. We can't use our old hideout anymore, so come find us at the bar. You should get out of here as soon as you can, too. Good luck. Okay, so now we have... Yes, so this has been it. We have rescued Yuka and we can find her at the bar. I think if I remember correctly... Um, when we go to the bar, we actually lose Takeshi and Yuji in our party, but we gain Yuka. So, um, yeah. So that is a thing we have to keep in mind. Other than that, I think we are pretty much done. I've kind of gone over time here, so uh, yeah, see you again in the next video, where we will go to the bar and meet up with Yuka and see how things will turn out. So, take care.